That's Terry Warfield. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Terry Warfield back for another video. Hope y'all having a good day. Y'all know on my channel is the only channel on YouTube where you're gonna find fitness and tech. So if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, go ahead and drop a hashtag up in here, up in the comments, so that I know you in here. And y'all know I cuss, man. So if you don't like that, just 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 keep it moving and save little bullshit comments because we really don't want to hear. It. But uh, anyways, the reason I'm here today is to talk about a new little toy I got. A toy I've been wanting to pick up for a long time, but you know what, I just keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and I finally did it. I finally did it and that's the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 or however you say it. We gonna call it the Osmo because ain't nobody got time to be sitting here saying that long ass DJI Osmo 3 axis gimbal mobile review. Listen, the Osmo is what we gonna call it, the Osmo 2. Yeah, it's been a while I've been wanting a gimbal for my smartphone phone I just never really did it now some of you guys know uh, I'm a videographer photographer also on the side so I have used other uh, motorized gimbals but never one for a mobile device and since I have an iPhone 10 right now I figured I might as well pick one up now I also want to say that the only reason that I picked up the Osmo 2 was was strictly based on availability, right? So, you know, they have a few other ones out there. They have the Smooth 4, they have the uh, Smooth Mobile one. Listen, you can't get gimbals for cell phones anywhere. Everybody sold out. So the only one I could get my hands on was at an Apple store. I went right on the Apple store. They had one available in 15 minutes for me. I paid $129.99 for it. Literally walked in the store, walked out the store with a new Osmo 2. All right, so I get the thing home. Inside, the Osmo 2 was inside a little carrying case. You know, the carrying case, it was, well, I mean, it, it came with it. it. You have to remember the thing is only $130. So initially, impressions it's plastic <laughs> I mean I knew it was plastic but it is made out of plastic understandably they had to lower the cost to make it more appealing to everybody else but it's a sturdy plastic however I do feel like if I drop this shit one time it's over so you know I'm kind of scared of dropping it I don't anticipate dropping it but you know accidents happen um, but yeah it's made out of tough durable plastic I wish it were metal like some of the other competitors but moot point uh, I do wish it was all black but you know that's personal preference but overall um, it's lightweight it's not heavy even with a phone in there uh, my phone is right here I do have a slim case from Amazon it's like real slim and for you guys that wonder if this gimbal works with any cases on there uh, if the case is slim enough it'll hold it in there and stabilize properly now while we're on the point of stabilizing right I wish y'all put some type of instruction in the box to tell people how to stabilize this shit out the box. You know what I had to do? I had to go on YouTube. I had to go on YouTube and what if I didn't have internet? I mean, playing devil's advocate. What if I didn't have internet? Then where would I get instructions on how to balance it from? So I did have to go on YouTube and, you know, watch a video or two. And it's just like stabilizing any other gimbal out there. But each one has their own little set of specific instructions. But, you know, you getting docked for that because I shouldn't have had to go on YouTube to watch a video on, on how to set it up. But with that being said, setup only took about five minutes. I use landscape orientation so I didn't sit there to uh, shout out the DJI for including a portrait orientation but I didn't calibrate it for portrait only landscape so uh, initial setup did take about five minutes and then I literally put my phone in there and, and started filming a few key things I do like I like how there's a USB port on the back so that you can charge your phone because this thing has 15 hours of battery life big shout out to DJI on that 15 hours of battery life so I can shoot and charge my phone and charge my phone while I shoot if I can get the little proper butt connector little setup going which I'm not about to do but 15 hours and then you have a USB port for me to charge my phone on top of that but 15 hours is amazing on the bottom you get a quarter inch thread for mounting on a tripod or whatever other apparatus you want to mount it on and you charge it with standard micro USB now before I get into all the little neat shit you could do in the DJI app I actually made you guys a little sample video of me walking through the park. Y'all can see some more of my softer side. I hope y'all enjoy. But 
I know your first question. Why wasn't it in 4K? Well, let me just be honest with you, okay? I edit on a 2011 MacBook Pro, and that shit can't handle 4K. So I had to, you know, literally put the footage into the computer, wait 13 hours for the shit to render, and then down resident post to 1080p. So I'm sorry I couldn't get you guys 4K footage, but the DJI app does let you film 4K, but only up to 30 frames a second. So filming with the Osmo 2 is relatively pain free, but I will say it like the it like the cluck out sometimes, right? So it was a few times I was filming using a DJI app where it was just like I was filming and then it just started doing this shit like it just start doing that. So I had to literally turn it off, turn it back on, reconnect it. But thankfully, that doesn't happen too often. But the DJI app, as long as it's connected with Bluetooth to your phone, it actually works seamless. And it's got a lot of features, man. I actually went on Drone World just to pull up a full listing of features for you guys. Beautify, Active Track, which is dope. Slow motion, time lapse, motion lapse. Um, you can live stream with this, which is a great, great feature to have for all of you live streamers. And you can live stream in portrait orientation. Uh, you got panorama, you got uh, burst mode, you got 4K, you got HDR, you got long exposure, you got all of that stuff contained in the DJI app. And I think that's amazing that you don't need to carry around a camera to do all of this shit, right? You could do it right from this little app from DJI. Now. I have heard that Android users, uh, you know, obviously have some more bugs, are missing a few features, but we already know how that go when it come to Android. iOS is relatively pain free, short of a few bugs here and there, but it's an overall real smooth and good experience. Now, little side note I wanted to share with you guys. When you're using a DJI app, or Filmic Pro, when you film on there and you save it to your camera roll, you're gonna lose a lot of quality. What you need to do after you film, if you want your videos to have the best fidelity, uh, the best quality, go on your computer and transfer the video straight to your computer, right, man. So overall control, as you can see, you get a joystick right on the front and you can use that joystick to pan side to side. You can also adjust the speed just so you guys know. Uh, you get a record button right there so you don't have to fidget around on the screen. You can just hit the button to record. You get a multi-function button right there too. So no more trigger on the back. But this button, this button do a lot of shit, man. This button controls the power on and off. It controls whether it's in the smooth follow, smooth track mode to where it's following your arm's natural movement is smoothing it out, which I'm a big fan of. It also controls with a double tap, the fixed mode to where you move it and the phone stays wherever you put it at. So you can turn it and all that and the phone stays stationary. You can also triple tap it, boom, 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 and then it'll flip to front facing mode just in case you wanna see your sexy ass on camera. The zoom lever is on the side and you know, you, you'll, you'll find all of this out when you go get one. But overall operation is very, very simple. Even with a phone on there, with the case on there, I got no problems balancing the shit even. So let's cut to the meat and potatoes. Is the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 worth your money? All right. I believe that it is. It's only $130. Some of y'all spend more than that a month on cigarettes. Some of y'all spend more than, we gonna leave it alone. But I do think the DJI Osmo Mobile 2, even though it's a mouthful, pause, is worth the $129. It's packed with features and it's easy to use. And on top of that, if you're into like live streaming and all of that stuff, you get a way, way smoother experience for any filming for that matter, for a little bit amount of money. 10 years ago, this shit was unheard of for $130. So we need to embrace the fact that we can get technology like this for this cheap. At the end of the day, I can't really compare the Osmo Mobile 2 to the Zion or however you say it, or the other competitors. I only can compare it to this. And I will say so far in use, I'm loving it. 
and there's a lot more features for me to explore. I'm gonna do more follow-up videos for you guys to kind of go into some of those features in depth. Right now, I just wanted to give you a high-level review of it, but I definitely think if you got $130 laying around and you're serious about filming and taking your shit to the next level, you need to go ahead and get one right now, okay? It's only $130, y'all, $130. And I think you'll be happy with it. Now, listen. Even though this does a lot of the work for you, you still got to do some practice, right? You still got to learn how to turn with your body instead of your arms. You still got to learn how to walk on eggshells. Bend at the knees, shit. Don't be, don't be filming and walking like you, like you walking on coals. No, bend at the knees, walk like you on eggshells. Make your video smooth. Be creative with your shit. Pan. Get nice angles going upwards, downwards, spinning, all of that. If you do all of those and you practice, you can get some pretty impressive video out of the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this Terry Warfield. Bravo, this is not a sponsor review. I just happen to like tech shit and I like working out and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you go back and check some of the other videos out. It's a lot of good content on there, man. A lot of good content. And for my fitness followers, I'm sorry, I hate calling people followers, man. That's just so, that's just such a trashy word. For, for, for everybody that's in this with me that's in the fitness, I have some more fitness videos for y'all coming out too. So again, if this is your first time, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe. Go tell a friend or go tell five friends to come check this shit out. I'll let y'all later. Much love.